I just wanted to give you a little heads up about uh, any anything interesting or strange you might encounter in this particular assignment 7.7 .7, factoring special products uh, like you've done before I would like you to try to use algebra tiles to represent uh, a few different uh, uh, quadratic expressions uh, and uh, and you'll do that in exploration one so uh, this is kind of what it looks like. So they've given you the algebra tiles. Uh, and it, it kind of interestingly, I, want, I do want you to notice something. Uh, the expression is 4x squared minus 1. Uh, but here they have 4x squared. And then they have a lot more than just minus 1. Over here in the corner is a minus 1. You might recall this, this right there represents minus 1. And these guys represent 4x squared. But what, what's going on with this and this? Eh? Eh? Well, something is going on with those guys. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of all these circles. Um, it turns out that to represent 4x squared minus 1, you can put in 4x squareds and you can put in a minus 1, but you'll see we don't get a rectangular shape. And, uh, and so there's a problem there. And, and uh, the way that we get the rectangular shape is we go and we throw in some uh, positive x's down here and some negative x's up here. And I'd like to point something out to you. If you add positive 2x plus negative 2x, they cancel out and you get 0. So this is kind of neat. It's like a little puzzle to solve. Um, they, they, again, they filled it in for you, and, and they, they gave you the 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Let's see how this one looks. This one has 4x squared. It has minus 4x, and it has plus 1. So this has everything. So it's, this is just a, one strange case where you'll have to, uh, and there will, you will have problems like this, where you have to figure out the missing pieces. So anyways, you're going to go and you're going to fill in this part and this part with the two factors that are required to get this product. And you'll do the same here. Fill in this part and fill in this part uh, with the two factors that get you this product. And again, the idea here is, is to get you in the mode of visualizing what, what it means to have uh, factors and, um, and expressions uh, that can be represented with algebra tiles. And, and what do the factors and expressions mean? What does x mean? What does x squared mean? What does 1 mean? These tiles help us to better visualize what these guys are. Next. In the uh, video for this lesson, the one that I made up for this lesson, uh, I explain how you can figure out whether or not you have a, a, a quadratic expression that can be factored uh, based on the fact that it's a special product. And uh, so here in number three, I'd like you to try to answer that question based on what you saw in the video. And then you will use that strategy to, to factor A, B, and C down here. Um, you do not have to use algebra tiles to, to factor these guys. Um, the algebra tiles are a tool that you can use if, if it's helpful to you. When you go to look at these problems, uh, you will notice that uh, they look a little different. They don't look exactly like the other algebra uh, products. Um, but and, and by the way, this the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are all a special product known as a difference of two squares. In other words, we take a square and we subtract another square. So the process of subtraction or, or the result of a subtraction is called a difference. And when we would say 57 to the second power, we call that 57 squared. By the way, if you're wondering where that comes from, if you have a square and you know that it is 7 on one side, the area of that square is 7 squared. Okay, so, so uh, the area of a square is why we call 57 to the second power 57 squared. Okay, so how are you going to use a difference of squares with, with these problems? Check this out. It's kind of fun. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's actually kind of a neat little, ma a rith a little, little mathematical trick. You take 57 minus 53, okay, if you factor this properly, and 57 plus 53, and, uh, and, and this is another way to write out 57 squared minus 53. 
Okay, um, you might notice that it looks a lot like the the pattern that where we factored other things, um, like for instance, uh, 49x squared minus um, 25. Uh, we would we would factor in this way: 7x minus 5 times 7x plus 5. Here, 57 minus 53 times 57 plus 53. So you'll notice 57 minus 53 is a very simple result. It's just 4. And then 57 plus 53, I'm hopeful you might be able to do the addition in your head. Um, it's uh, going to be 50 and 50 is 100. 7 and 3 is 10. So that's 110. And one of the points of doing the problems this way is the hope is, is that you can actually do all the math in your head. Now, if you can't, that's fine, but I'd like you to, I'd like you to try. I want you to struggle a little bit. This is good for you. And in the last part of this assignment, uh, not only are you going to factor for 19 through 24, but you're going to try to solve as well. You'll notice that here it's equal to 0. Here it's not equal to 0, but if you subtract the 49, you'll get equal to 0. Um, and then 21 and 22 should be rather straightforward. 23 and 24, I'll leave for you as a challenge if you're up for it. Um, you don't have to do those, but I'd love to see you struggle through it and try to nail it. And, uh, and then um, there's a couple of word problems at the end. And again, I'll leave those for you as a challenge. And uh, if you look at them and you try them and you're, and you're not sure how to do them and you'd like to know, I'd be happy to make a video to explain how to do those. Okay, good luck with this assignment. This is 7.7 .7 Factoring Special Products.